What up, guys? This is Juggle 82, and this is a package vid. Um, I got this off of Wish.com, and uh, this is uh, I've been intrigued to get something like this for a minute. And uh, I'm subscribed to two channels where I see them do a lot of retro gaming where they get uh, uh bootleg consoles. I've had my share of uh, what you call uh, heavy consoles like the uh, Power Pro, it was 2000 or 3000, I forget the name, of. and you know. Just curiosity. I also have another system that I will talk about in another video. But this right here is something I got. And I'm going to get ready to open it up. And we're going to see what we got, man. See what we got. So, yeah. That's, uh, this was delivered from China. Hopefully you guys are good. I got both my hands doing this. I actually have the uh, camera doing this thing. So, Got this box here. We have it in this box here. The box. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Three hours later. So, what the hell do we have here? Okay, it says, uh, give me. The loved ones. Give me the loved ones. It says on here, it's the layer, layer fire. Okay. So let's get ready to open this up. Let's see what we got. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can keep it steady. Here we go. This right here. This is right there. Yes, this is a handheld PSP cleaning system. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay. We have some, uh, some video uh, cables because you can hook this up to your TV. We also have a uh, some uh, USB cables, and we also have actually looks like some pretty decent ass headphones. I've seen videos of these things, and usually the headphones are very shitty. These don't look that bad. Uh, we got a little manual. Uh, I've heard them say that the manual is paper, toilet paper, and this, but this is not a bad manual. It's actually thick paper. Let's laminate it. So, what exactly is this uh, sucker all about? Okay, guys, uh, this is Juggity Two, and um, this is a review of the PSP clone, whatever you call it. Uh, I recently got this uh, about uh, give or take about two weeks ago. Um, I did show at the beginning of the video the unboxing that I did. I uh, actually thought about just throwing that video away. I wasn't really going to want to do that video. It was a whole lot of uh, mistakes, if you will, in that video. Uh, I'm using my webcam. As you can see, it's kind of showing on my neck. But I'm using that so that way I can have a two-hand feel of the console itself. And um, first thing uh, I would like to just say is uh, I'm subscribed to RetroCore as well as uh, the Wicked Gamer Collector. And uh, I've seen a lot of videos where they do console reviews of Japanese knockoffs and so forth. Now, this right here I got because I was interested in it. And I've been interested in it for about a minute. And this is kind of like um, most of the typical videos you would see on YouTube for this particular system. Now, uh, this system, of course, it looks it pretty much looks like a PSP uh, from the... Uh, shape of it and so forth. Uh, I've noticed that I haven't seen videos too much about this one in particular. I know it doesn't have that little silver rimming like the uh, PS3. I mean, I'm sorry, the PSP. Uh, it does have a camera and so forth. So if you've seen one video, you see them all. But this is um, a system. Um, this is the actually uh, the situation with this is I got this system and uh, like I said, I showed a lot of it on the unboxing. 
But uh, I can say, honestly, it's a really good system. I'm not going to dig too hard on it. Uh, if you can see the... Some people knock these systems for their analog, but this analog is really, really pretty good. It's really smooth. As you can see, that it does have a little lift on it. Uh, the direction buttons to me feel pretty good. You can definitely play Street Fighter and all those games and do your Hadoukens and all that stuff. That's Hadoukens or oh, Hadouken. I am retarded. But uh, yeah, you got the two shoulder buttons up here. Uh, you, the, the weird thing about my system, though, that I noticed, and um, I kind of looked at it, like you have two of these right here, right? One is supposed to be audio and one is supposed to be AV out. And uh, the AV out, I'll let you guys know about it. It doesn't actually give a, it shows earphones for both. So I don't know, but I do know one thing about that. Uh, the AV out on this particular one, um, I was able to get it to go through, but it was very, very shitty, if you will. Um, I have volume controls up here also. And of course you have your standard buttons and so forth. I'll select the start. Um, one thing that I find is weird about this system is your reset button or to go back is one of the shoulder buttons, which kind of hinders some of the games you could probably play, but they do have a mapping so you can, can change the controls. And usually what I do is I change the select button if I'm playing like Super Nintendo games and stuff, since you really, really don't have to use the select button that much on certain Super Nintendo games. Uh, but, um, I'm going to get ready to cut it on. Ooh, that sounds funny. And you get a good display play of some really really good uh, imagery if you will I like the taking and stuff um i'm trying to get the best i can when it comes to me actually recording this uh but as you can see the layout is pretty cool you can actually change themes on here so like if i wanted to i can like change the coloring of it and so forth uh we also have uh games on um something it doesn't really say the full thing but it's like if you click on it it has a bunch of games really doesn't have a bunch of games but actually it only has like seven or yeah, seven games or eight games on this actual thing right here and uh literally i'm going to let you guys know on something that you can put games on here and believe it or not it's not as hard as uh some will make you think it seems because i've actually put games on here and i have a charger of course with the beginning of you saw the charger itself you can hook to your PC. So when you hook it to this little port right here, it automatically detects it. The computer will detect it. And you can actually just download ROMs and literally just transfer them to the games folder. And they'll be on here. And I'll show you right now. Um, after I went to the 8th, I decided to put some GBA games. I got uh, Batman Vengeance. I got WWF uh, Road to WrestleMania. I got a lot of wrestling games on here, by the way. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling 2, WWE Road to WrestleMania 18, Crash Bandicoot 2, because I want to match with the other GBA Crash Bandicoot. I have uh, Sonic Advance 3 that I put on here, WWE Survivor Series, Extreme Ghostbusters, uh, I have some Batman Begins, and here's the crazy thing. I have uh, some Genesis games as well. I also put some Super Nintendo games on here. Uh, Bonkers, um, which is a game I remember playing when I was a kid. Uh, for the sake of Genesis, I also have Crash Bandicoot, and I'm going to throw a question mark on this. This is for the PlayStation 1 Crash Bandicoot, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, we have Crash Bandicoot Warped, which is Crash Bandicoot 3 for the PS3. Uh, I also have ECW Hardcore Revolution for the PlayStation 1. I said PS3 for that. Sorry about that. Uh, Ghostbusters for the uh, Sega Genesis. I also have Knockout Kings for the PlayStation 1. Mega Man X6 for the PlayStation, Mega Man 2 for the NES, Mega Man 6 for the NES, I have uh, Mortal Kombat 3 for the Sega Genesis, I also have Natsum Championship Wrestling, a game from the Super Nintendo, I remember having when I was a kid, awesome, awesome wrestling game, uh, Rival Schools, awesome, I love Rival Schools, and I might end up getting an actual copy of this game, because I feel it's, it's a good, the good, the Rival Schools. Uh, Robocop vs. Determinator for Super Nintendo. Uh, Section Z, which is another cool, cool shooter for the NES. Uh, uh, Senoptu, Senipo, Pole Wrestling 95, Tokyo Dome Battle 7, and 
Good, good wrestling game. I probably can't pronounce it right. Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. I got the uh, Bart's Nightmare, the Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. Sonic 2, and this is actually a Sonic 2 with Knuckles. Instead of Sonic, we have uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade Revenge. Another childhood game I had. Uh, Spider-Man and Venom, Maximum Carnage, another childhood game I had. Uh, Super Back to the Future, which was a game that was not released in the U.S., but awesome to have it. This is uh, WWF SmackDown. Awesome. Uh, for the PlayStation 1. WWF Super WrestleMania for the Super Nintendo. WWF WrestleMania 2000 for the Game Boy Color. WWF, uh, this one says WWF.bin, but it's actually WWF the arcade game. WrestleMania, the arcade game, I mean. For the PlayStation 1. And we also have a SmackDown 2, Know Your Role. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, another childhood classic that I had when I was a kid. And so forth. And that's it. Um, if I go out of this one, and you'll see another one. And I'm going to show you guys those games right now. But uh, we have classic games. And classic games consist of a lot of arcade classics as well as Neo Geo. Now, on this uh, roster, when you if I go all the way to the bottom, it says 8,000 games. There's not 8,000 games. There's 80. And it's a repeat after 80. It goes back. So it has them like paraphrased in different things. Uh, eventually, when you actually click on them, you can learn what some of them are. Um, uh, for me, like I said, some of them, you might not have a clue what they are. Uh, I mean, you have Final Fight, which is this one right here, Final Fight. Oh, you have Street Fighter. You have, uh, actually have Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It actually just says Ghouls. But it's a uh, super ghouls and ghosts, ghosts thing. Uh, ghouls and ghosts. I mean, for the arcade version, um, we have a, it's like a lot of uh, like I said, arcade games. Uh, that's an arcade Mega Man games, not your traditional Mega Man games. Kind of a fighter. Uh, but you have a lot of games on here like that. I will probably click on one of them. Let's see. Uh, like the, we got Punisher. Let's click Punisher. So we get started. And now, by the way, when you do any of these games, it has a of course, the restart, which is restart the game. Uh, once you play the game, if you want to like save, you can save it, and also you can load the progress of that particular game. You also have settings, by the way, where you can actually change the sound output. You can also change the mapping of the controllers, the controllers, uh, the controls. Yeah, uh, screen size resolution. You can go full size, or you can go to the original, or you can go to scale, and so forth. So let's get this started. The Punisher. I guess I've had this game for probably two weeks. I've pretty much indulged in it. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not a noob too much to it because I've literally watched a lot of videos. Not only this system, you have a bunch of these systems. And this, what I can probably say, is kind of more related to the X9, uh, even though it's not like that particular system, because on X9, it has a lot of GBA games on it. Uh, this one does not have a lot of GBA games on it. Of course, I put a bunch of them on it myself. Uh, but for the most part, like I say, it's a... Uh, this is a little cutscene. We can go and get to the actual game. Let's see. And of course, it's the arcade version. Let's start. You can choose Nick Fury also. I'm a player! Oh, I'm Spoiling, but if you've seen, like I said, if you've seen videos, I'm embarrassed kind of going those lines. Like, uh, get too deep. Uh, I want to show you guys something else about this system. 
because if you've seen it, you've seen it before on many of the other videos. Uh, you do have an option for music as well as pictures and video. Um, the videos that they have on here uh, from the directory that actually came with the system. Um, this one I actually did where I got uh, downloaded uh, the pictures, the videos, see if it would play. But this right here is, of course, a video of uh, Avatar. And the quality of the video is not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. All that crap. Weapon spray. Weapon spray. Great right. Come around. Yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get out of that. Uh, you can also, of course, put videos on there. I went too far back. But you can put videos on here. Um, like I said, I have a video in here that I did. Should the Night's Joe message. A lot of y'all talking shit about me. Now, literally, put this video the on there to right uh, now. the just the card, just the uh, connection to the PC. Get out, and I'm gonna get out soon. All y'all motherfuckers yeah, see all that good stuff from old shoe. But you got that as well as uh, your camera. Camera is okay. I wouldn't say it was awesome, awesome to record with it. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, it's a camera. Uh, we have uh, Justin the Brightness calculator as well as ebooks. Uh, they do have a thing called browser, but it's not a browser like an internet you go on. It's just a browser to show you to browse through the stuff you have. But we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show you something on here that um, a lot of I've heard a lot about people saying they couldn't get it to go. But I was able to put PlayStation One games on here, and um, I think it's a lot of strategy. Uh, maybe it's going to be a build uh, sooner or later to update some of this stuff to be able to do it. But I'm going to give you a perfect example with uh, Crash Bandicoot. And uh, this is going to be an example. And not not to sit there and brag on what I was able to do with this. Because I've seen videos where they've shown someone playing this. But as you can see, it plays. It starts off really good. Sound is on par. So far, so good. That's why I said this system itself, if they do any revisions, it would have a lot of good hope to be able to literally play these games. Uh, if you can kind of tell, it's kind of slow a little bit. But this is, like I say, the thing about this I'm going to say is the fact that I know that this system, for what I pay for, can actually even even attempt to play a PlayStation 1 game is incredible. Uh, I haven't gotten any N64 games to play on here, but it probably would be in no matter of time if someone figured it out. Uh, like I said, as you can see, it's kind of slow, but uh, the playability for me, I feel it could actually, you could actually play this, because I actually beat a couple of boards on this game. Seriously, beat a couple of but like I said, it's up to um, but at this this game itself, uh, like I said, Crash Bandicoot is an all-time favorite of mine. I'll play it. A little bit to get over that. This is all in all, you won't be able to just play this game thoroughly. But to know that it's, 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 it's I think it's a couple of seconds off of his frame rate. But one game that I know that I truly see that plays really good is Mega Man X6. Now it's a well, it's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a 2D uh, it's a, it's a, it's a side scroller. It's not just 2D. But I feel that by knowing it's a PlayStation game, I think it's incredible that it plays at all. And by the way, some of these games I literally uh had to do it like a. Well, basically, you have to get uh, uh, ECM tools. If any of you guys know what that is, it, you basically use that to uh, get the games to be a bin file. Some of these games, most of these PS1 games, I have is a bin file. But uh, I'm going to show you once again with Mega Man. Okay, let me get back. I said they went back too far. Sorry about this video being too long, guys. But I think people should know about this system about what it can do because I feel it does a lot. 
I had a couple of issues with some Sega Genesis games, though, which is kind of surprising, considering that I could get PlayStation 1 games to actually run on this damn thing. But, uh, let's see, X6. Also, I know it's like when you see restart, if you hit it, hit the uh, button to start it, you might have to hit it, uh, maybe let it sit, then hit it, and then it'll get ready to start up. Uh, like I said, um, plays crisp. I mean, it's it's not a... Believe it or not, I have more issues playing this game on my actual computer, playing the emulator for it, uh, playing the ROM on my computer, than I actually had on playing on here. And I found that kind of weird because I was like, my computer should be able to play this kind of flawless. But I have something to do with how I'm setting up my uh, emulator itself. I don't understand nothing they said, but it sounds so good regardless. Mega Man X7. Uh, start. I like, like I said, once again, I like the design. I'm going to try to go and get into the gameplay. But I like the design of this system. Of course, it has that PSP feel to it. And uh, I know a lot of people would knock these systems for what they are, but I feel like at the end of the day, if you're paying only 30 bucks, or hell, some of them even cheaper than that, and you're getting a system like this, it's, it's okay, I feel. Let's go and get this going. Like I said, I've played this on the PC, on my PC, and it's, it doesn't run nowhere near as good as it runs right now. I'm gonna make me flawless. It's no slowdown whatsoever. Now, was I played this on my career, all this stuff I'm doing here is slow as hell. But yeah, this is this this play is awesome. Um I'll show you one more PlayStation uh uh one game. And it's a game I remember playing so much when I was younger. And I might just go and see if I can kind of screw me up just a little bit because I want to actually get that intro together perfect. Okay, let's see. Now, believe it or not, I've had a situation where I was actually had this game once again, another game that I had on my PC that literally a lot of echo. But let's see, we have uh, it's gonna hop in the game. Uh, once again, it's to me, it's slow, but it's not bad slow. I mean, I can still play it. That's what I'm going to just say. Um, no loading. Uh, the GBA games, uh, I'm going to say this right here. The GBA games play flawless. Uh, the Super NES games play flawless. Of course, the NES games play flawless. 
Like I just said, it's not bad slow. Some of these uh, PlayStation 1 games do run sh slower. Believe it or not, this actually plays pretty good. Uh, considering what the system is, knowing you can do this much, I think it's incredible. And I just realized it's, 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 it's awesome. And I'm going to tell you one thing that made me want to put PlayStation 1 emulators on here. It's believe it or not, and I'm going to go and create an exit out of this and show you guys. Um, when I got the system, it actually did have Tekken 3. And it, and I thought, because uh, I've seen video reviews of it, and, I, and it had Tekken 3, but it was, was the, the GBA version. And this is Tekken 3 uh, for the PlayStation. Uh, but I noticed that it does, and I was going to do it where I was going to actually download the ROM for P, for the uh, and see whether or not it would do different because it doesn't show the actual intro video. It uh, pause to this black screen for a minute, and then it'll go straight to the title screen. Or or if it doesn't just generate anything, you have to press a button and so forth for it to go to it. But the thing I noticed, like I said. Like I said, here's this is uh, Tekken three, and like I said, it's the it's the arcade. I mean, it's like a PS one version. I just get a fire just to show you what I'm talking about. Um, there's no music, there's no sound. It's pretty the bare bones, and as you can see, Round it's one fight. It's not really. I mean, you can, like I said, it's still, once again, you can still, that's what made me think, well, if it can actually put a PlayStation 1 game on here, maybe it can put other PlayStation 1 games on here. And that's what made me think about putting in downloading ROMs of PlayStation 1 games to see whether or not they can play. Like I said, I could still play this game and actually win a fight. You see what I'm saying? I just won that fight. I could still play it to its extent of what it should play. But other than that, I, that was the reason I put uh, a lot of PlayStation 1 games on here. Uh, some play better than most and uh, so forth. But like I said, the system itself, like I said, from the GBA games, like I said, they play pretty awesome. Uh, the NES, I'll show you a perfect example of Contra. Like I said, when you get on here, you have to, you know, wait a second. And you, if you hit it, it'll go. But this Contra is actually kind of like modded a little bit or... It basically has where you have the spray gun and start and play lines. But, like I said, it plays perfect. And it plays flawless. Damn. And like I said, it plays amazing. Let me get out of here because I'm going to kill a bunch. <laughs> but yeah, man, Dragon Ball. I guess I, I'll go to a Game Boy Advance game also to show you guys. Here's Metal Slug. And like I said, when you get on there, you just you know just wait a second and hit the button. In. And like I said, it's it's official. It plays flawlessly. Okay, but yeah, this is like you get that start, and also, like I said, you can't save your, your game, you have to do low progress. Okay. But yeah, that's this one. The mill slug. See, yes. Yeah, we will miss it. Yeah, we will. The mill slug. Yeah, baby. Oh, shit. Shut up, baby. Like I said, guys, the overall appeal of this game system is the fact, like I said, I thought it was going to be hard to put this together. And like I said, I say only thing I had to use was a USB thing to put most of these ROMs on here. 
and also the fact that it already has a bunch of games with it. Uh, overall build of the system, it's not cheaply made or none of that. It uh, definitely has some grip to it. It definitely is. The one thing I can give a, like a straight critique is the battery life. Um, I think you probably get maybe an hour, maybe two hours out of the gameplay, which is not bad in my opinion. But uh, sometimes it seems like the the power itself kind of goes flank soon as it's... But that's probably because I have the light on the highest light, which is about five brightness. When I was telling you about the brightness on it and so forth. All in all, I can pretty much guarantee you guys that if you do get one of these systems, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, like I said, these systems go by different names. Some call it the Game Player. Some call them the MP5 Player. And some call them the X9. Uh, mines, I didn't really know the particular It says that 3,000 in one uh, system so forth. And that's what I got. And I got this off Wish.com. And uh, I'm happy for my purchase. But yeah, I hope you guys maybe want to check this out and hopefully get you one of these systems. I think it's a pretty cool system. I think the make of it is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, this is Jagged82 with a long ass video talking about this fucking system. Signing off. You guys have a good one.